Hi, this is Kyle Benedict with Miso BIM. This tutorial topic is ceilings, and this is an intermediate level course. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple options for placing a soffit in your ceilings, as well as some best practices for placing recessed ceilings. All right, I'm going to do both of these examples in the bedroom portion of our hotel room. As you can see, I've placed a few reference planes. This first one is telling me where I'm going to place our soffit down in this bottom section and the other ones are centered in the remainder of the space and that helped determine where our pendant light is. All right, so to draw my soffit, I'm gonna select the ceiling tool, pick the option I want, which is in this case, I'm just gonna do the gypsum wallboard on metal stud. And by default, Revit wants to do an automatic ceiling which fills in the entire space with a ceiling. We already have that here, so I'm gonna to have to sketch the ceiling to just place the soffit where I want it. I'll use the pick wall tool because that's always a safe bet. It will move when your walls move. And then to draw that final defining line, I'll just use the line tool and trim these lines up. Next, I can set the height in the properties while I'm in sketch mode, or I can finish it and set the height after. In this case, I'm gonna put the height at seven feet. and you'll see it lowers our ceiling. Now, in your reflective ceiling plan, that looks fine. But if you're doing some imagery and visualization views, we've got a huge gap there. So that means to create that soffit, we still have a little work to do. And here's where you have a couple options. The first option I'm gonna show you is drawing a wall to close that up, and that is pretty accurate to how it would be built. I'm gonna draw this wall along here. And as you can see, that wall is going from the floor to the second level. So we can change that to just be the soffit. Now we can change the height in the properties, or we can use our attach tool to attach the top to this ceiling and the base to this ceiling. And now whenever those ceiling heights move, the wall is going to move with it. And also, if we want to make this a little bit more accurate, we can edit the existing ceiling and change this line. I'm going to delete that defining line and choose the pick wall tool and select this wall instead. Now when I hit finish in our section view, you can see this ceiling terminates here. We've got our wall that helps close off the soffit, and here's our lower ceiling, as you can see in our 3D view. Now, the problem with that option is you can see the seams in between the wall and the ceiling. So if we wanted to get rid of those, we would have to go to our line tool, choose invisible lines, select it a couple times, and there you have it. So that's one option. So that's one option of drawing the soffit, but what's our other option? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna clear that out. I'm gonna do a ceiling again. This time, I'm gonna choose this soffit ceiling I made earlier, and the difference is this soffit ceiling has a deeper metal stud layer depth. Now, is this going to be perfectly accurate to the way it will be built? No, but when you cut a section, you're drawing detail lines anyway. So this is one less step in choosing those invisible lines when you go to a 3D view. So I'll finish that. I'll drop it down. I'm gonna have to revise this ceiling line to be right along there. Hit finish. And now we've got a nice clean soffit up there. Now if we go to our section view, and we're in fine detail here, so you can see that the ceiling takes up the whole remaining space. And if we were to detail this, we could draw this using some filled regions and also some detail components. 
put a stud in there. Move that guy down. Move this guy over. And then draw a couple detail lines to close that up. And there you have it. So you're probably going to do these detail components and detail lines anyway. So sometimes I'd like putting a thicker ceiling in there just because it looks good. It's one less thing I have to draw with that soffit wall. And as I said, you're probably going to detail this up anyway. And the blank space you're seeing with this 18 inch stud is really just going to be blank space anyway in a section view. So it looks good in your perspective. And as I mentioned, it's one less step you have to do by drawing a ceiling and a wall. You can just kill two birds with one stone by drawing the thicker ceiling. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is show some recess ceilings in this bedroom to give it a little bit of character. To create the recessed ceiling look, the existing ceiling is actually going to be the recessed ceiling. And what I'm going to do is create a couple layers below this to make this one look as if it's recessed. I'm all about the path of least resistance. So instead of drawing a whole new ceiling, what I'm going to do is copy this ceiling and paste it in the exact same place. I'll get a warning saying there's things in the exact same place, but I already know that. And now what I'm going to do is change that height. And I'm going to drop it down the thickness, the exact thickness of what that ceiling is. So we know that's four and a quarter and that's subtracting from six. That's going to be 1.75. And now I'm going to edit the boundaries and I can put new boundary lines around it and we'll make it one six. Okay, hit finish. And now you can see I've got that layer done. I'm going to do that again by copying, pasting to the same place, moving it down another four and a quarter, which leaves us with seven, nine and a half. Edit that again, and now I can pop this out a foot using the offset tool. And as you can see, we've got a couple layers to this ceiling now inside our bedroom. Now, is this section perfectly accurate? No, it's not, once again. So, one of the other options we could do is create different thicknesses for our ceiling. This ceiling could be a one foot and one eighth inch stud. This ceiling could be a seven and seven eighths inch stud and we'll have that more seamless look like we did over here. And then when you detail it, you'll do the same process. So there you have it. Just a couple options of putting in drop ceilings, recessed ceilings, and soffits. Hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching.